A special prosecutor decides Cherokee's SWAT team members who shot an unarmed man after he opened the door of his home will not face criminal charges. The case has spurred heated conversation around individual civil rights and the officers. News 13's Kimberly King joins us now live in the studio. And Kim, you spoke with Jason Klopfer's attorney who has filed a civil suit. Tammy, that's right. And the trial is set for 2025. They've, I think, at least admitted they shot him. So uh, he's very upset. He is Jason Klopfer. What's going on? Surveillance footage in his camper he recorded himself shows he and his wife were asleep. Oh, hello? His attorney said Jason got up to follow Cherokee Indian Police SWAT cops order. He can be seen picking up an officer's robotic camera put in the house to surveil after a neighbor alleged hearing shots. But his attorney says that's false. Seconds later, with the robotic camera in his hand, following instructions, he comes out. As you can imagine, it shakes your uh, faith in the system when law enforcement officers who are sworn to uphold peace and law and protect citizens show up at your house for no reason. When they finally wake you up at 4.57 in the morning, they got shot. Attorney Ellis Boyle says an email sent to an officer's attorney confirmed. There would be no charges filed. Ellis only learning days ago, though he says the email shows the special prosecutor decided more than two months ago. Law enforcement officers should not be considered above the law. Public sentiment the same. How can you gun down two unarmed civilians and not face prosecution, one writes. Dude had his hands up and they opened fire. These officers need to be held accountable. Glad this guy had a camera. An email from the director for the conference of district attorneys confirmed the specially appointed prosecutor would not be seeking charges. The only recourse that's left to my clients is to go in the civil justice system in federal court in Western District of North Carolina. Klopfer's attorney shared that there's unreleased body cam footage that he has reviewed that will come out at the trial that he says shows his client laying on the ground, bleeding, looking up at the sky, thinking he's going to die. We'll continue to follow the case as it moves forward in a civil trial.